Hey guys, my name is Kat and I'm actually sitting here filming a video. I haven't posted a video since like October or November or something insane like that and just a lot of shit happened over this past winter months where I just was crazy busy and stressed and I just couldn't film and didn't want to film and I wasn't feeling it but now I am finally back into the swing of things hopefully and I hope to be posting at least one if not two videos every single week from here on out and yeah, I was in a huge reading slump when I last filmed my last video as well, and now I'm finally reading again. I read eight books in January, and then I read another eight books in February, so I think I'm just going to film a joined February-March wrap-up, and right now I'm just going to bring you my March TBR, which... I don't have like that many books on my TBR. I am going on vacation for a week in March, so don't, there's not gonna be any videos that week, but there will be a lot of videos before then and when I get back. So let's just get into all the books, that, all the books that I hope to read in March, and sorry if this video is kind of all over the place. It's been a while since I've done this. But the first book that I want to read in March and have already started reading is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. And yes, this is the first time I'm reading Twilight. I've never read Twilight before. I'm on page 152 and I'm actually really liking it. Like I've put off reading this for so long because I've heard really awful things about it, but my friend Shania really loves it and I just thought I would give it a try. So I'm reading it and I'm actually really, really liking it and pretty excited to read the rest of them. I obviously already know what happens in like Breaking Dawn and everything because obviously you get spoiled and I've seen the movies and whatever, but this book is actually pretty damn good so far. So I'm not gonna give you a synopsis of this because you should know. The next book I hope to read in March is Insurgent by Veronica Roth, which I have obviously already read. I absolutely love this series. Um, I want to reread this before I see the movie, which I'll be on vacation when the movie comes out, so I can't go to the premiere, and I'm just like very torn about that. I'm not super pumped, but I'm going to see it like the day I come back. But I'm like pushing, I just reread Divergent in the end of February and I'm like pushing back reading this because I know when I finish this I'm probably going to re, re, want to reread Allegiant. I don't know if I'm ready to put myself through that kind of pain again because I just, mm, mm, I'm not like incredibly excited about this movie because I've seen the trailers and they just look terrible, like they look completely different from the book, which I'm like really nervous about, but I'm still going to reread this and I'm still going to see the movie and hopefully love it. I don't know, but yes, Insurgent. The next book I'm planning on picking up this month is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. I'm finally reading the Mortal Instruments series, you guys. I read City of Bones in the beginning of February, question mark. I think it was February or end of January or something. I read City of Bones and I really, really enjoyed it. I gave it like a four and a half stars. Again, I'll talk more about that in my um, wrap up. But so I really want to pick up City of Ashes. I'm trying... I was going to do it along with the um, Mortal Read Along that's going on. I will link the Mortal Read Along's Goodreads group below. It's with like Emma, Emma's books, I think, and like Momo at the Booktube Girl. And all of those people are doing a Mortal Read Along, which I was trying to be a part of. But they're reading City of Bones this month and then City of Ashes next month. And I just, I can't wait that long. I have to read it. So I think I'm still going to join in on the live shows and discussion and stuff. But I'm just going to just gonna read it a little bit early because I want to know what's gonna happen all right I just I'm, I'm I'm intrigued and those are the only three books that I have like planned that aren't part of my TBR jar I have two books from my TBR jar and I don't do a traditional TBR jar I do it how Kat from Tastic does it where basically I have 12 challenges um, one for each month because I fail at reading books that I actually choose from my TBR jar so this is still gonna get me to read outside of my comfort zone but not specifically like making me read books that I don't want to read. So my challenge for last month was read a book that's not a novel and I didn't complete that challenge. So I just put that one back into the jar and picked out two challenges for this month. The first challenge is read a book that you did not finish. And for that, I picked Princess in Waiting by Meg Cabot, which I've technically already read these, but I need to reread them all for, um, I think it's called 
the princess wedding or something like that it's a new adult book that Meg Cabot is releasing about princess Mia and all the characters so I need to reread all 10 I think there are 10 of these all 10 of them before that novel comes out and I think it comes out in spring or early summer but I started rereading these last May and I read the first three and I got do 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 66 pages into this and I just put it down and I haven't picked it back up and it's not because I wasn't liking it. I obviously love this series, but this has been on my currently reading on Goodreads since May. So I really just need to pick this up and finish it and then read the rest of them in the series because they're really short and I can read them really, really quickly. So this is happening this month, hopefully. And then the last challenge for my TBR jar challenge was read a 2015 debut novel. And for that, I picked I Was Here by Gail Foreman, which came out on January 27th I believe. Now I just finished Gail Foreman's um, If I Stay duology which I absolutely adored especially where she went just like the, the feels the feels in it all right I was just like oh freaking out the entire time but since then I'm really excited to pick up another Gail Foreman novel. I think I'm gonna bring this one on vacation with me so I can read it in the car and sitting on the beach the most likely cold beach but the beach in general but anyways, um, this book, sorry I haven't been able to give synopses of any of the books I've talked about. They're like all, um, second books or, yeah, in series and stuff. But this is a standalone. So this is about a girl named Cody who found out that her best friend just committed suicide and she had no idea that her friend was even depressed or suicidal at all. She had no idea. So I think it's about her kind of trying to get to the bottom of it and figuring out why she did it, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about this. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. I know obviously there is a huge um, trigger warning if you are suicidal or have been or whatnot. Um, I have heard that you should not pick this up, obviously. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to read it because I really love Gil Horman's writing and it's just a nice... It's pretty short, so I should be able to fly through fly through it like every other Gail Foreman book. But yeah, those are all of the books that I am planning on reading in March so far. I'm going to try to pick them all up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, I hope to read at least one or two more books than this, but these are the books that I want to read for sure. And yeah, I will see you guys. I'm dropping them. I will see you guys soon in my January, February wrap up